Hello, everyone. Joining me right now, Dr. Janet Meemark from the COP and Douglas Public Health Department. Such an honor to have you back again, Dr. Meemark. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us for this week's special COVID weekly update. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Appreciate it. So what's going on in Douglas County and where are we with the latest numbers? So um, right now in Douglas, we have uh, 2,465 cases um, that are confirmed for COVID-19, and um, we have 50 deaths right now. Now, <clears throat> usually, <clears throat> excuse me, I usually, um, I'm, uh, you know, I feel like I'm always giving everybody bad news, but I, I wanted to give a little bit of um, um, cautious hope today. It, um, it looks like the numbers are coming down a bit and that we're, we're doing a good job of keeping the, the numbers um, going in the right direction. So um, I don't, this is not over, right? But I think we're going to expect to have surges that will happen, you know, on and off. But we've done a great job when things got, you know, pretty hot. We were able to do what we needed to do. And now the cases are coming down a little bit. And so I just wanted to commend everybody for, you know, I know you guys are wearing masks and washing hands and social distancing, but please do not become complacent. Um, don't think because case numbers are coming down a little bit, it's okay to go to parties and, and things like that. And, and large gatherings, because we are seeing a lot of transmission that happens in those kind of cases. For us to keep going the direction that we need to go, keep going, we need to keep doing what we have been doing and being cautious and making sure that we continue to wear our mask and, and socially distance. Um, I just want to make sure we just kind of um, reiterated that because um, we all want to, you know, our schools to safely open and to continue um, about our lives. And so um, really just making sure that we keep going in that right direction is is, is the best that we can do so how are we doing on hospitalizations you have a number on that um, I have we have 307 total hospitalizations um, uh, Douglas Hospital continues to be very very busy and you know it is a little bit smaller hospital but um, they are still very low on intensive care beds and acute um, medicine beds uh, ventilators are good which is um, always good news but it continues to be quite busy at the hospital with them um, COVID and non-COVID patients we often keep in touch with uh, the folks at Wellstar Douglas, and we totally appreciate all the hard work that they're doing. And uh, we are so grateful and thankful uh, for them to the community. So yeah. thanks for sharing that. Tell me a little bit, the last time we talked about hospitals in the metro area being at or near capacity, is this still the case beyond uh, Wellstar Douglas as well? Um, we are seeing over in, in um, my region as Cobb as well. And so they are very, very busy, but they do seem to have a little more space in their um, acute care, the regular medicine hospital beds. So that is looking better as of yesterday. But you know that fluctuates um, rather rapidly. But um, right now it looks like it's hopeful they're going in the right direction. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, just recently, um, Cobb and Douglas Public Health, under your leadership, shared pop-up testing sites uh. in the area that we're advertising. Uh, I also heard that there may be some difficulty with uh, trying to register. Can you speak to that for the people? So thanks so much for asking that. Um, I have heard in the community that it is difficult to get an appointment. And so I wanted to make sure we kind of reminded everybody of um, our new site. So um, they will be listed on our website, cobbanddouglaspublichealth.com. You can go there and you can see where the new sites are. And so um, when you go and register, um, we have our main site at the health department, but they only can see an average about 100 patients at that site. Now, our mobile sites, which are run by CORE, C-O-R-E, um, they are contracted with us to provide services. They can do up to 500 a day. So wow. our yeah, the capacity is much greater in those places, and they will move around to different areas to try to serve and give access to different areas. So what we have coming up is the uh, today will be the Riverside um, Epicenter. We try to make that on the you know, close to the border for Cobb and Douglas County. They'll be out there from one to seven. And then tomorrow um, will be Douglas Town Center. It was it used to be the Walmart. They'll be there from one to seven as well. And then on Saturday, we'll ha have um, a big event, I think, at the Douglas County uh, Courthouse, 1 to 7. I think they're doing a back-to-school drive there as well. So, That's 
That's right. And just to mention that that Saturday, August 8th at the Douglas County Courthouse. Um, and I think it's from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m., if I'm correct. Yes, that one's 7 to 1. You're right. Yes. And then also, if you live closer um, um, to Austell, we have a um, Word of Faith uh, Family Worship Cathedral. We'll do a 10 to 4 testing. Now, you can register for all of those on our website. So I want to make sure that you knew it's the same process, but you pick the other location. So that's one thing. And I also wanted to let you know that um, it's actually um, these locations do the nasal swabs. They're the self swab. So yeah. they don't go all the way back to tickling your brain. It is, you know, swabbing both sides of your, your nose and um, a little uh, less uncomfortable than the other tests. So you can do those and they will accept walk up. So I just wanted people to know that too. If you don't have internet access or you have a difficult time with the registration, they will take you as a walk up. They have not reached capacity yet at those locations. So you can go there and do the walk up testing. Oh man, that is great to know. I know our board of commissioners would be pleased to to hear about that and the uh, welcoming of walk ups too, because we have to keep in mind not everyone has uh, a vehicle per se, you know, and utilizes public transportation. So it's really good to know. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Me Mark. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the residents of Douglas County? Yeah. So um, I wanted to uh, one. Thing that I, I um, wanted to mention to everybody was, um, you know, there are certain conditions that make people um, a little bit higher risk when getting COVID-19. And I wanted to make sure everybody was aware of that. So one is if you've had any sort of chronic lung condition, we know that, that um, it, it can make you more susceptible to having poor outcomes. But things that we don't really think about as much is um, having diabetes, hypertension, or obesity. We are seeing that um, to be more frequent in our uh, mortality cases. And so um, I wanted to make sure that we have a lot of people that have those chronic conditions and that puts you at a bit higher risk. So, you know, I just want you to be, you know, as cautious as you can. Everybody, please continue to wear masks. I love seeing more masks being worn these days and trying to, you know, physically distance a little bit and making sure you wash your hands. And, and please don't, if you see large gatherings that are coming up, please um, please try not to engage in that because that, that's very risky. So I want to repeat what I'm hearing from you. That's the best advice for the Douglas County community mm -hmm. and citizens are really to wash your hands frequently, watch your distance, staying six feet apart, mm -hmm. practicing social distancing, and wear your mask when you're out in public over your nose and over your mouth. Absolutely. Correct. The three W's. Perfect. And I love the signs when I drive through Douglas. Uh -huh. I love them. I love them. They're fantastic. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> well, can't thank you. I'll make sure to pass that on to Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, our chairman and uh, the board of commissioners. I'll make sure I pass that on. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Meemark. Thank you again. Thank you.